Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I have a really random day of just like running errands. I also have a meeting um, and I also need to do some like homeware shopping. And yeah, you guys said that you wanted to see more just like everyday sort of stuff. Um, I personally think it can be like a little bit boring me just doing like random errands but you guys wanted to see that so i thought i would vlog today um first up this morning i need to yeah go to a meeting in burley we're going to next door espresso for breakfast and i'm so excited you guys have to go if you live in the gold coast i know it sounds like really strange but they do this miso eggplant toast avocado no sorry not miso eggplant oh my god that would be so weird probably would be um still but miso avocado toast and it's like a fancy version of like avocado and vegemite toast i reckon like i don't know it's just so yum if you love like miso flavors you will love it and the bread that it comes on is literally the softest fluffiest most delicious bread you'll ever have in your whole entire life it is just wild i'm obsessed with it so i will definitely be getting that for breakfast cannot wait and then yeah i need to run some errands um so i need to drop off some stuff to the salvos actually so i need to do that i need to return a few things and then i also need to maybe stop in at the warehouse i'm still waiting to hear back from jake if i need to do that or not and then i'm also going to duck to the shops and i need to get some like homewares bits and pieces so jake really wants a ceramic like saucepan and pot so i'm gonna go look for those i also need a new like wooden spoon like i want to look at like some salt and pepper shakers um like a spoon rest really like random stuff like that um i also need to get like i want like a new robe as well so i might get a robe so yeah i'll bring you guys along for that i personally love seeing people like do homeware shopping so yeah that'll be after all of the more boring stuff but i'll bring you guys along anyway um i did also really quickly before we go want to show you some of the lounge stuff that is going to be included in their sale um the sale has already gone live but and i'm not sure when it's actually ending but as always i would recommend getting in asap because i'd hate for your sizes or your favorite styles to sell out i will link absolutely everything that i'm going to show you guys down below and they're having up to 70 percent off as well which is obviously epic so i'll show you guys that quickly and then yeah go to breakfast so i actually got sent a bunch of new stuff um from some of their new collections so i'm going to pull them all out and show you guys what I got some of them are really like fun and colorful and pretty and then I just have some like neutrals of course as well these are the ones that I got sent this month they're all super cute I think I'm pronouncing this right the floor balcony set in pink um so adorable they have this set in a few different colors and i love like the pink red and yellow contrast it's super girly really fun really feminine and it's beautiful the detailing is honestly so stunning here we have the sheer floral bodysuit it has um the adjustable straps and then also a thong behind so so cute you could also wear like a white lacy like um bralette underneath this or something as well and then wear it as an actual bodysuit out for like a festival or something i feel like that would look super cute this one here is called the lace magic set i think um i buy everything as separates i'm also a size 32 c in the bras and then i just get an extra small in all of the thongs because the thongs are like my favorite style to wear this one is super cute as well this one is the love heart mesh and uh, i just think the little love hearts are adorable i also love like the clasp detailing here it's super cute again really comfy i love that like triangle shape and then this set here is one of my favorites i have it in every single color it's just super super comfy for lounging around in it's the bamboo triangle set and i just love it um the bottoms are super flattering really comfortable and yeah the top is like really nice just paired it with um like trackies or something for like lounging around the house or yeah underneath t-shirts and stuff it's super comfy thought i'd give you guys a little sneak peek into their sales so with lounge underwear you actually get free delivery on all orders over 120 dollars which is amazing you can also get returns within 45 days which is so great just to allow for like shipping and stuff like that um, they also have afterpay available so if you want to stock up while the sale is on get a heap of new underwear then do that and then you can just afterpay it if you would like to and then yeah they have up to 70% off which is absolutely wild 
Um, these are some of the styles. So like you guys can see, 70% off. That is incredible. 60, 40, 15% off. Absolutely mental. These are two of my favorite sets here. They're super cute. They also have heaps of like cute loungy stuff as well. I love this like in the pink. I think it's so cute. I have um, this one here in the blue and the fit is so nice. I'll insert a photo of me wearing it for you guys so you can see actually. But yeah, they honestly have so much. All of these are 50% off, which is crazy. I love um, this in the purple and the green too. They're both so nice. And yeah, there's honestly so much. So if you guys have been in need, stock up now because so much of it is on sale. They also do have this, the Find Your Fit, which is amazing. So if you're unsure on sizing, I know that um, you guys always hear me asking for help on sizing. Honestly, go to this and it's really simple and easy to use. Um, and just follow the prompts and they'll help you out accordingly. I am a size, I think I might've mentioned it before, but I'm a size 8C and then an extra small in the thongs. I think that's what I usually get. I honestly can't remember, I always change. Um, and then like for the, uh, what's the set? I think it's called the balcony set. No, not the balcony set, the triangle set. I always get a size extra small in the top just so it's a little bit like firmer. Um, but yeah, they have that option as well if you're unsure of sizing because I know it can be a little bit tricky sometimes. But yeah, I'll link everything down below for you guys. shops the meeting went really well breakfast was amazing honestly you guys have to go if you live on the gold coast um and obviously if you like avocado and miso so delish um i also stopped in the so uh sorry salvos um and the ladies there were so nice i dropped off two bags and they were like so big i had to like carry them like separately one at a time and when i like after I dropped off the first bag and went back for the second one and then dropped the second one off, um, they were like, oh, all this stuff is so lovely. Like, thank you so much. And they're like, we're going to put it out now. So, yeah, they were really, really sweet. I'm such a slow coffee drinker. Like, I just, like, sip on it all day. It's really bad. I feel like that's, like, another reason why I have ice long blacks is because it's not going to go, like, yuck. Like, it's just water and coffee, whereas, like... If you had milk, it would be disgusting. So you'd have to drink it really, really quickly. Um, but yes, just got to the shops. I need to drop off shoes to JD Sports and Culture Kings. So, and I'm going to go into David Jones and see what sort of stuff they have in the homewares department. And I think Jake wants like a pair of shoes as well. So I'm going to look for those for him too. Okay, we've made it to David Jones. I just love the country road stuff. I feel like I didn't used to like it. I don't know why. I feel like it's like, was the branding? Like, I don't know. But now I really like it. Um, like the pieces that are a bit more subtle. Like I obviously don't like a huge logo. I'm obsessed with this robe. Looks so nice and snug. I think I'm gonna get that. And they also have the matching towels. So I might even get those. I wish, like, literally, <laughs> my favorite thing in the world is, like, this sort of stuff. Like, oh, so, so cute. But I already have basically all of this. Um, okay, so I need a spoon rest, but I think I need a white one. Oh, these are cute. What do we think about these? I think they're cute. I sort of love this for like a, you know, like holding recipes and stuff, but I think it'd be too big for our countertop. I think I'm going to get this bowl as well. It looks super cute. It's like shallow. I feel like it'd be cute for like serving burrata and stuff. I am definitely going to get these hand towels. They're so cute. 
You okay? <laughs> Relax. <laughs> What is that sound? That's a new one. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> I just got back home. I did some damage, okay? <laughs> I was not supposed to get this much stuff, but here we are. Hello, boys. Okay, we're loving the attention right now. Someone missed me. Someone missed me. Okay, we did some damage. I got quite a few bits and bobs. These are some slippers that I ordered from Bellini. The other day on the weekend i can't remember anyway ordered them the other day so let's pick those up from okay okay so i picked those up from this is him right now from reception um and yeah i'll show you guys what i got so i got a mortar and pestle pestle <laughs> i think that's what they're called i got this like marble color I have been wanting one of these for ages, but everywhere I looked, they were just like huge and I sort of want to be able to sit on... Wow, I'm so sorry, guys. Like, what on earth is happening here? Relax. Um, I was looking for like the past few months and then came to the realization that I'm just going to get this one because it's small and cute and it'll look nice on our countertop. I also got... Oh, I got... I was like, what did I get? Um, I got a spoon rest. It's just like a white one. I'll do my best to do this with one hand. Honestly, look at me go. It's just like a white one so I can sit it on the countertop. Um, and then it means that like you can just put the spoon in there while you're cooking food. And it doesn't get the countertop dirty. I literally am like so like crazy about the countertop being dirty. If you ask Jay, he'll literally be like, Ali's a psycho, because I just need it clean at all times. Um, we're gonna do the homeware stuff first, but I also got these hand towels. How cute are they? They're like waffle print. I love them. So cute. I don't know how well they will like dry, but wait, yeah, tea towels. Um, I also got a new wooden spatula. Just got this one from Woolies. Um, what is this? Oh, I got this cute little cheese and knife set because I realized I have like all the platter stuff and like as if I don't have, okay, I'm going to put you down. As if I don't have a cute little knife thing for the cheese. So we got that. Is gorge. Um, we also got oh, I got these so cute for like grabbing stuff off of a platter. Like, if you want to grab like yourself an olive or some cold meat, whatever, whatever you want to get. And then I also got these some pepper shakers in the black wood. I think they're really cute. Um, I also got some pepper for said salt and pepper shaker. And then from David Jones, I just got a bunch of new towels and that robe that I showed you guys. So I got some of the gray towels and then a white bath mat, white hand towel, and then the gray robe that I showed you guys. And then from Mecca, I'll get it all out and then I'll show you guys. From Mecca, I just went in for this. Um, I got the Summer Fridays lip balm. I just like this. I've got like the metal one, but I feel like the applicator for this is just a bit better. It's just like in a plastic tube instead. Um, this is my all time favorite moisturizer. And whenever we go traveling, the big one's just like huge to take with us. So I thought this would be cute and convenient. And then I also used to see this all over TikTok and I just was spending too much money on like cosmetic stuff at the time. So I didn't buy it. But I thought I would try it because I haven't bought anything in a while and I really want to try it. It's meant to be like a plump serum to help your skin look really like plump and fresh. Um, this is just a moisturizer from Glow Recipe as well. A cute little um, translucent powder that I can keep in my handbag for when I'm out but just need to like dab my face. And then also, again, one of my all-time favorite scents. Um, I actually do have the mini bottle, I think, but I thought this would be good to just keep in my handbag as well um, because yeah, it's such a nice fresh scent as well. So yeah, that is everything we got. I'm gonna put everything in their home now. Oh, I'm gonna open the slippers actually. Let's do that first. These are the three pairs of slippers I got. They're all different. 
These ones are so cute. They're like so fluffy. I actually died. They literally look like a bunny rabbit. Um, so I got those ones. I also got these, which I think are really cute. They're like in that teddy sort of material in the brown. I'm obsessed with those. I think those are my favorite. It's probably those ones and these ones. And then I also got these ones, which I thought were cute as well. Um, again, in that like sort of teddy fabric. But I definitely prefer the shape of like the crossover sort of ones. So yeah, that's everything. I'm going to put it all away now we're gonna find homes for everything and yeah i'll show you guys like the towels and the robe properly as well because they're actually so nice like the quality is amazing um they're the hand towels we use and they are just divine hey bubby i love you i love you hey i love you my love romy why are we getting new slippers hmm why are we getting new slippers because you Chewed up mummy's old ones. You're not touching these ones, no. Sorry, you guys, it's so zoomed in right now. Um, this probably seems really silly, but I've literally never filled one of these up before, so I'm gonna have to Google it. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna confess that to you guys. How do I fill up salt, mm, pepper grinder? I store the peppercorns right in the back. But the best part is when I go to refill the pepper mill, I stick it right in the bag with the peppercorns. And then I just use my fingers. I'm going to call Tasha because I feel like this is something she would know. Uh -uh. Well, that was rude. Who else would know? Maybe Talia? Hello. Hi, baby. How are you? Thank you. What's happening? Um, I have a really random question. I tried calling Tasha, but she didn't answer. Yeah. Oh, she just texted me. She said, call back her in the car. Anyway, no, I'm going to ask you. I just bought a salt and pepper grinder, and I don't know how to fucking undo them. Oh, my God. They're so hard, bro. I did the exact same thing once, and um. I YouTubed it, and it showed me how to do it. Wait, hang on. Let me think. Because I remember specifically when I moved down to Palm Beach, and I had to throw it away because oh. I thought it was... Hi. Um, this is it. Okay, show me the bottom of it. Like, does that come on okay, down? Why was it? I'm trying to think why. Maybe Tasha will know better. I remember it was something so easy and I thought it was broken. Yeah, okay. I, think, I swear you just push it. Push why? it? So the, the one that I had, I had a screw and I was unscrewing the whole thing. And then I ended up just like breaking it. Oh, no. Maybe I'll Oh, yeah. no, 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 no. You unscrew the head of it. Do you think I just okay, take I'm this part off? See you again. Yeah, you take off that part, I'm pretty sure. Because this part, that's where you grind it. So do you think I just turn yeah. it the other way? Oh, okay. All right, I'll give that a go. I'll report back. Yeah, okay. Um, Tasha's trying to call me, but it looks really good. Okay. All okay, right. love you. Cool. Bye. Bye. You soon. Hello. Hey, sorry. Um, I'm just... <laughs> No, you're right. Um, I have a question, and I feel like you're the right person to ask. I just got these grinders. Oh my god! Sorry, the dogs are bloody crazy. Um, I got these grinders, but do you know how to fill them? <laughs> do your faces then? Yeah, probably. But I feel like do I screw the opposite way? Do you think? Well, we have to unscrew from the bottom. But there's like that. Do you have one or not? <laughs> Talia said just keep screwing until you can't screw anymore. But that's like how you would grind it. Is there a button you press at the top? No. Can you pull it? Oh, yep. Yeah. Oh. There we go. Oh. Yeah, there's two little there, Joel. Wow, that was, so, that was so easy. I'm embarrassed. <laughs> Did you get good content? Um, we did like the first two photos, and now it's like we did get half back on that. Yeah. And I'm wearing the like the only other place I can think of is um that my apartment. Yeah, all right. Love you. Bye. Guys, we did it. It was such a simple solution, and now I've gotten them absolutely everywhere. I was hoping to just do like a really aesthetic, like, you know, montage footage of me doing this. And here we are. It's a bit messy, isn't it? But we got there and that was so easy. So if anyone has ever wanted to know how you do it, now you know. Because I would not have thought to just pull the top off. I would have like 
thought I was breaking in. I feel like I've got too full. Do I empty it a little bit? Okay. And then you just pop that back in and we're good to go. Do so a little tester in the sink. Wow. I'm obsessed. I just don't think I have any. Oh, no, I do. I have salts. everything's looking so I have the hand towel I also have switched out this section a little bit so the coffee pod machine was here but we've been finding that we haven't been using it all that much because we've actually been having um before you speak coffee a lot it just tastes like 10 times better so yeah we used to have it like years ago all the time but we're back having it now um I also just realized I should probably like twist that around because that part wasn't as cute um, so yeah, we've got the kettle, spoon rice, salt and pepper, shaker, grinder. Sorry, why do I keep saying shaker? And then on this side, um, two of the knives are in the wash. We just have our pepper, salt, um, olive oil, knives, and food bowl, which I think looks cute. Um, obviously, I like do feel like what was here before looked better, but we'll just leave it like this for now and see how we go. Let me know what you guys... Which one you guys prefer or if you think I should like switch sides for anything, but I think that works. Now that that's done, I'm going to have some lunch really quickly. I think I'm going to make chicken tacos from HelloFresh. Um, they're like, I'm starving, so they're really quick and easy. So I think I'm going to make those. And then I need to just get a heap of admin stuff done. There's a heap of invoices I need to pay. I also have been meaning to update the Cali Swim website, some of the images, so I'm going to do that. And then I also need to edit a YouTube video, so that'll be me pretty much the rest of the afternoon. Um, and then Jake actually has TRL tonight, Touch Rugby League, so I think I might go watch that. Um, but yeah, I'm going to yeah, make lunch now and then get all those admin things done. Yum, chicken tacos for lunch. Um, it's like a Caribbean spice mix and it's so good. So it's coleslaw, guac, and chicken. And there's also little bits of pineapple under there. I love pineapple with like tacos. So good. I'm also always getting asked and my code is Hello Alley at the moment for HelloFresh. In case you guys do want to try it, this is the sponsored but I just love it. And the meals are bloody delicious. So good. Mmm. Mm. of the website basically I just want to update um, the photos for the breathe and intuition styles because I have a heap of new images that I can use so these are just like some ones I just got with Saskia when we were actually doing a different shoot um, which obviously is stunning but I want to upload some more of the photos I'll show you guys so these are some of the photos I want to use instead or I'll still keep some of the other ones maybe, but I'll add some of these in. And then the black, I just think Jazz and Leilani look so stunning in these photos. So I'm just going to do that now, nothing too exciting. It just takes a bit of time. Just fiddling with like the file sizes and everything. It takes longer than you think. I just had a shower, took all my makeup off. Um, I'm getting my lashes and brows done tomorrow. So excited about that. Also, I washed off my fake tan that I had on all day as well. Um, but yeah, I'm so due to get my lashes done. So I'm very excited about tomorrow. I have to make dinner. I'm just going to make burgers. So I'll show you those once they're all done. I'm so excited. Um, I've been watching The Girl from Plainville. It's like a TV series based on like true events um, from... Um, it's on stand, sorry. And yeah, it's been really good. So I'm going to watch that after. And what else was I going to say? 
Oh, Jake and I watched a documentary the other night. Our friends actually recommended for us to watch it and they didn't want to like give it away. It's actually, again, a documentary um, that was made into a film and it was called The Cave on Amazon Prime based on true events that happened in 2018. Um, basically, it's about like, how many of them? I think there was like 13 of them. There was 12. 12 Thai kids in a soccer team and then the coach who was 25 the kids in the soccer team were all ages age sorry 10 to 16 um, and they got like trapped in this cave in Thailand and it took 17 days to get them out and how they got them out is actually so crazy my friends when they were like telling us to watch it they're like we can't tell you how they got them out because like it'll give it away and when we started watching it we were like oh they've given it away already but they didn't like they don't tell you to like the very end and it's actually mental. It was all over the news and stuff at the time, um, but how they actually did it, I feel like didn't actually get out until like a year later and then it had sort of like phased out already. It wasn't as like hot news, hot off, fresh off the press, um, I would say. So yeah, if you guys like documentaries, give that one a watch. I think it was like five or six dollars to rent on Amazon Prime. Yeah, Prime. And it was really good. It was just like a good like Sunday afternoon sort of, sorry, evening watch. Um, and I love getting recommendations myself, so hopefully you guys love it just as much. Um, but yeah, I'm going to make a burger now because I'm so hungry and I just love the HelloFresh burgers. They're so good. Oh my gosh, this is what dreams are made of. So I have my chippies and then that is bacon and onion jam with chutney. Are you kidding me? My beef patty, cheese, there's tomato under there spinach and that is a little bit of Bernays sauce and I'm just going to watch this episode um, I'm gonna sign off this video now though love you guys so so much thank you for watching and I will see you next time bye